Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to teach you how you can make really simple abstract blurry backgrounds in Photoshop. This is one of the millions of ways you can do this. So let's jump right into it. So we're going to try out with three different random images I just got from pexels.com. Um, you can go check those out. You can download free copyright free images. It's really nicely done not sponsored by the way so you can download any image obviously every single image is going to give you a different result um, we're firstly going to go to the adjustments tab and click on gradient map and you're then going to add your gradient map i'm going to go with these colors um, press ok then select your image layer, just go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and you're going to blur it probably like a lot, like something like 60 maybe. And then what I like to do is go to the back to the adjustments tab and click on the curves adjustment and just click and drag up and down to reveal maybe colors of your gradient map that weren't being seen. And just play around with this till you're happy with the result. So something like this is cool to me. I'm going to select my layers, right click, convert to smart object, and then just go to filter, noise, add noise. Just add a little bit of noise, maybe four. Pretty cool results, I think. Let's try with a different image. We're going to go and add our blur. You can also play around with the, it doesn't have to be 60 depends on what works best with your image and obviously you can change the gradient map colors and adjust the curves till you get something you're happy with i feel like this looks pretty cool now let's try it with our last image add our usual blur now we're only adding Gaussian blur, but you can obviously add um, other types of blurs, radio blurs, and all that stuff. I feel like this looks really cool. Let's convert all of them to smart objects. Add our noise. This is number one. Number two, pretty cool. You can also add a hue and saturation effect to uh, change the hue of the colors. And you can see some alternatives. This is the second option, and this is the third one. So for every image, you get a completely different result depending on the lighting of the image, how dark and light it is, and all the contrast of it and all that stuff. So play around with the settings that I just showed you, and I guarantee you get a awesome result in like a few clicks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to subscribe. Hit the bell to get notified with new video updates. Also, go check out my Instagram. I post daily designs on there and linked in the description down below are going to be my gradient map packs and my texture packs. There's also some free ones in there, so definitely go check those out. Also, thank you so much. We just passed 20k subscribers on this YouTube channel, so that's very, very exciting. Thanks to all of you that subscribed. And uh, I love you guys and I'll see you guys soon. Okay, bye.